Thanks very much. Just before we start, I'm going to say, um, many of you will say tonight that I might not be short, or I, I may am. Um, it's the syndrome here to talk about, not your actual height, so I'm not picking on anyone in particular. Steve? Um, so yeah, <laughs> let's go. So, short man syndrome. First of all, it's not about your actual height. This is something, it's a psychological phenomenon, mainly in men, guys, it's, it's us, um, and it's where you feel where you feel undervalued or you feel that your stature, your actual height, is going to hold you back and you need to overcompensate. So average heights in the UK, 5 foot 10 if you're a guy. Um, that's increased from 5 foot 5 back in, uh, was it, say, uh, I don't know, the 1800s. So actually we're doing this, which isn't good for me. And one of our most famous uh, short men, Napoleon, actually not short. Five foot ten, he just had really big bodyguards around him all the time. But it's actually called the Napoleon Complex. And I've had it all my life. Um, so I, when, just when I was wee, this is not a picture of me in school, but this is what I was like in school. I was shorter than everyone else. On my first day in high school, my rucksack came to the back of my knees. <laughs> Think of a rucksack walking along. But unfortunately, everyone else grew and I didn't. And I got the name Angry Dwarf because, well... <laughs> I was a bit angry. I kept trying. I went to I went to the rugby tryouts, and they were like, "Are you the ball?" Um, and so I kept having to prove myself. And I was trying to tackle the biggest guy, which didn't go down well. Broken nose, broken fingers later. But as I grew up, started training, and one night found myself at not at a fight club, but at a gym run by somebody who was a trained fighter. And when he asked, "Does anyone want to have a go in the ring?" Before my mind could kick in, I was getting in the ring, going, well, "I'll have a go." Um, he was huge. I, I can't describe how big this guy was. He looked like he was chiselled out of stone. Um, and it was three minutes, the longest three minutes of my life. But my, my mind wouldn't let me tag out as he literally beat me around the ring. My wife is here, and she will testify. I had a bruise for ten months on my arm. Um, and so I didn't tag out. When he choked me, all I could say was, kill me. Well, kill me. Um, but... Afterwards, when he dragged my body to the side, what he said was, it's not about standing above everyone. Don't try and beat everyone else. Just do what you can do. And then resuscitated me. And <laughs> a lot. Um, and it wasn't good because he was sweaty as well. It was not nice. But he said, you know, you need to be the best you can be. And I still train-ish. And this is the 30 plus men's fitness group that I go to. And um, so you've got to be over 30. And as you can see, that's me with the arrow. They're all a little bit bigger than me. Um, but I've got over it. I have got over it, but I say they're all a lot bigger than me. And I realised, you know, if I was famous, I'm about the same height as Tom Cruise. Now, everyone says, you know, Tom Cruise is quite short, but that's fair play. You know, Nicole Kidman, Katie Holmes, he's not doing bad. Um, but I'd, I'd like to think, you know, I, I, could, I, could, I'm, I can relate to that. But actually, now I don't care. In the nicest possible way, what people think about me. I really don't. Um, so I don't care if you think maybe I'm a little overweight, I'm losing my hair, um, that more with children that has happened. But I don't care what you think about me, and I don't really care what, what you are. So I don't care if you're, as I said, black, white, straight, bisexual, gay, lesbian. I wanted to add, have one that said, eat crayons, but apparently that wasn't politically correct. Um, <laughs> and now this is me. I'm genuinely a happy person. I'm now a happy dwarf. Um, now things, I know I'm not actually that short, because, well I am, but... I'm not that short, um, but I am genuinely happy all the time. Most, I am genuinely happy most of the time. Um, and this is why. I, I've got two lovely boys. Ah, ah. ah. So this is Finn and this is Evan. And they are the light of my life. I don't need to worry what other think, others think of me because they think I'm awesome. You know, Dad, Dad is brilliant. And my wife will kill me. She didn't know this picture was going to be put up. Sorry, divorce later. But my wife thinks I'm awesome. Yes, she's nodding. I don't care what other people... Because the people who matter to me and around me hopefully take me for who I am and accept me for who I am. That doesn't mean my goals are any shorter, though. I want to be on the cover of GQ. Fact. I'm going to be there. You laugh. If you can facilitate this, please see me before the end of the evening. But I will be on the cover of GQ. It's going to happen. And I have other ridiculously high goals that... I will achieve, come hook or crook. You'll probably be on there, I don't know, being hold somebody to ransom or something, but just be the best that you can be. Don't worry what others think about you. Surround yourself with people who also love you for who you are. I love this picture. I, did, I, wish, I, I wish they're not my fingers, um, but 
surround yourself with people who like you for it, but you need to be the same to them. You need to support them and who they are and love them for who they are as well. And this is just be you always. Bridget Jones said it best, or whatever it was from Bridget Jones, is that I love you just the way you are. I don't love you just the way you are. Um, some of you, yeah. Um, but just be happy in who you are. Love each other for who you are. And that's my talk. Thanks very much. You've been wonderful. You're a beautiful audience. <laughs>